Okay, we're going to talk about Simple Kaizen. I'm Mike Robleski from Gimba Consulting, and we're here at Dale Martin to discuss uh, a employee suggestion program. And it's not your typical employee and suggestion program from what you may experience, so that's why I want to talk to you today about what we'd like to do here. Uh, first, on the true north, what we're really trying to do with Lean and what we're trying to do as we go through these Kaizen events and through our transformation is change our culture. And our culture is basically our core values and beliefs. And what we want to institute is a company that's a learning organization. We're constantly learning by what we're doing and that we're also having continuous improvement forever as one of our core beliefs. So if we're constantly learning and we have a, an issue where we're always improving our processes every day, then we're starting to move toward what we call a Lean company. Now in a lean transformation, the first important thing is listen to the customer. We want to listen to the voice of the customer because we want to make the customer happy. Why do we want to make the customer happy? What are one of the reasons why we make the customer happy? Or our business is coming. And, and as that business, what do we get as a company? Money. Exactly. And from that money is profits. And profits allow us to stay in business. And then we all succeed. So we want to listen to the voice of the customer, make the customer happy. In order to do that, we have a system. Now, what we want to do in the system is build a foundation. The foundation is on the lean tools, our practices, behaviors, and principles. And through those foundations, we're going to give the customer a high quality part in low delivery time and low cost as a result. We also want to develop people. In order to do this, we need some policy deployment at the top, strategy by the customers, uh, by the owners, and by the president as this is the direction of the company. But you notice something on that? What is that big red circle? It's employee involvement. We can't do this without everybody involved. And that's one of the keys on a lean transformation is it takes everybody involved in the company to make this work. Now certainly we can make the customer happy, we can have profits, we can have a system and not include everybody. But compare a company that actually Im involves every person in the company in that direction and one that doesn't. Which would be a better company? Which company would you rather work for? And that's what we want. The second one, yes. So typically we would set goals at the top and we have some metrics. We do value stream mapping and from the value stream mapping we have Kaizen events. And through Kaizen events we make improvements on the shop floor. Also, that's for usually a top-down approach. We also want to look from what we consider the bottom-up approach, and that's where total employee involvement is, and that's where we can do something called a simple Kaizen or employee suggestion system. Now, everyone's heard about Toyota, correct? And Toyota is actually a pretty good business system overall as how they improve their process. Well, one of the things that I want you to understand is we're not here to try to copy Toyota. There can only be one Toyota. We have our own culture, we have our own processes, we have our own unique circumstances and we have a different set of people but what we want to do is be humble enough to see how Toyota does things and learn from them and see what works for us within our company and one of the things that they do is total employee involvement so that's why we're going to entertain this now part of this process is a Kaizen process typically you understand that Kaizen is to change for the good and what are one of the things that we do in Kaizen what do we do this week Constantly improve, where constantly improve. And what was the tool that we used? 5S. 5S? What so, far. A, so far? Any other tools? Newspapers. Newspapers? Yes. Kaizen newspapers. Other departments? Do you help develop what we need? Yes. And then through that, we're developing people. And we do that with the Kaizen events like we've had this week. So Kaizen events are just one way of going through the lean journey to transform. Now, a Kaizen also means gradual, small, frequent improvement in all things. So if you make one improvement today, one improvement tomorrow, one improvement the next day, and these are just small improvements, by the end of the month they're going to have a lot of big improvements. Instead of one big improvement once a month. Now you certainly can do one big improvement every month, but it's a little harder to do. So what we want to do is focus on the small improvements that we want to do every day. We can do individual Kaizen, where you can find something you need to improve on the shop floor, you go out there and improve it. You don't need a Kaizen event to do it or a team. That's what we want to focus on. Now Shigeo Shengo, who uh, taught the industrial engineering methods, the SMED system, a single minute exchange of dye or the quick changeover process at Toyota, he said that there are four purposes for improvement. Easier, better, faster, and cheaper. But the key thing he says, these four goals appear in the order of priority. In the United States and in most companies, in what order do we normally look at things to improve? Fast, cheap. cheap, exact opposite of what Shigeo Shingo says. 
He's, we look at faster and cheaper versus better and easier. So what I'm saying is, let's look at how to make jobs easier and better. We'll get faster and cheaper as a result. So, in order to do this, who do we look to? We look to you. You are the experts in doing your job. You're the ones that do the jobs every day, and you're the ones that know it best. Now, can any of you come up here and do lean training? With training. With training, exactly. With training, you can come up here and do my job and train, exactly. Now, if I came down here to your lathe, could I operate your lathe? Of no. With of but with training, could you teach me how to operate the lathe? Yes. Yes. So everyone can be trained to do jobs, but the ones that know the job best are the ones that are doing it. Of everyone in the company, you're the best one to do the job. Now, how many people can operate your lathe at this company? About four. Four. And there's over 100 people in the company. But those four people know it best. And you probably know it best of all because you operate it the most. So these, this is the key of how to make an improvement. You know best your job, so we want you to improve your job. So that's why we're going to need your help with your ideas of how to improve your job since you know it best. So a simple Kaizen process is one way of doing it. Now it's not your typical suggestion program. Have you seen suggestion programs where you have these suggestion boxes posted on the plant? What happens when you put your suggestion in the suggestion box? What happens to it? Here's goes to human resources, someone in management. What happens to that suggestion? Well, if it's done properly, it's best on the keeper who follows up on the suggestion. Yeah. It goes through a review process, yes. And then how long does it take for those suggestions to get implemented? I've seen it happen within the same week. I've seen it take six or seven weeks. A week? Six or seven weeks? Have you ever seen one that disappear? Oh, yeah. You, yep. What happened with those? No one knows. Sometimes they may still be in the box, or it's still under review, or some disposition happens, they decide they're not going to do it, but there's no feedback. And that's a process that's actually very cumbersome. This is not what we're talking about. This is not the kind of program we're talking about. We're not talking about hitting a home run either. When you think of ideas, which ideas get the most publicity? Which ideas are the ones everybody talks about? The big cost savings ideas, the big home runs. Well, we don't want to hit a home run. We just want a base hit. We just want to take the bat and contact the ball. We want to go forward and just say, small improvements. Don't worry about hitting a big home run. The other thing we learned in doing improvements is it's best to improve things within your control. You're an expert in your area, but let's concentrate on things within your control. Now, if I was to say, what are your problems in your job, you can certainly point out to areas that you may have problems with a customer, you have problems with a supplier, you have problems with another department, you have problems with management. You certainly can point to areas outside of your control that you can say, hey, if we improve that, we'd have a lot better business, right? Well, how hard is it, is it to change somebody else? Pretty hard, exactly. So let's not concentrate on those problems that affect with other people, other areas. Let's look at our job and what we can control. Since we have control of it, we have a better opportunity of making that improvement. Now you certainly can have ideas in other areas. Uh, if you want to, we can pass those ideas on and go forward, certainly to improve the company. But let's concentrate on the ideas that will improve your job and your control. In addition, we want to look at ideas that you can implement in one day, not a week or six weeks. Something that can be simple that you can do. Similar to when we do in a Kaizen event, you see something that can be improved, we just get some improvement material, tape, labels, move things around, try it, and it works and it's implemented in the same day. That's what we want to do, same day implementation. Look for ideas that are ordinary, common, and simple. Small ideas, because we're looking for small improvements and small steps that we can do every day geared toward making our jobs easier and better.